as you are now, he would strike you down without batting an eyelid. But when this dust is applied to a garment, it becomes as if it were a shield, strong enough to withstand the most powerful necromancy, even victors. Get a dress and use this dust and you will be able to enter the palace. Maybe you are strong enough to defeat Victor, but it will take more than just your Moonblade to finish this fight. It will take spirit, belief and strength, all of which I sense in you. I have lifted your curse. Now go! In the time that remains for me, I shall make my country blossom again. For the sake of us all, I pray that my time will not last too long. Thank you. Now, farewell, my sister, but come back any time you please. You can be sure you'll be welcome. There is one last thing. Yes? I have no ship for my journey home. The dark ship will be at your service from now on. Thank you for everything. Bring it all to an end, sister. It is your destiny. Hello? You look puzzled. Perhaps I can help you on your quest. I would appreciate the help. What do you want to know? How did the princess become undead? Victor selected his accomplices carefully. One to control politics and the citizens. That was the Doge. One to scare and threaten the merchant lords. That was Hector. One to silently remove anyone who might be a threat. That was the assassins. And one full with youthful energy to hunt down and kill any that might still stand. That was Chiamaka. Do you know how to summon demons? <laughs> First, you need to protect yourself. You draw circles on the ground around you, and then light some candles, a very difficult ritual to perform. Then, you whisper an enchantment to protect yourself from harm. Normally, what follows is the spell to call the demon, but Victor and his four allies didn't. They drew daggers. And they killed themselves while they were inside the protective circle. Do you understand what this means? Nobody had ever done such a stupid thing. But Victor knew what he was doing. After decades of study, he found a tiny gap in the cosmic rules and abused it. They were now dead, yet could not be touched by death. Undead. Death was not responsible for them anymore. No one was. At least, that's what they thought. That was before they found out about you. Do you know the secret of the Black Grimoire? 
I cannot tell you much about it for your own protection. Anyone who knows the full story inevitably loses their wit. <laughs> Do you see the tree of life? Its roots reach down into the twilight world. And below that is another world. A place that's called the Abyss. From the Abyss, the Black Grimoire rose and found its way into our world. And as long as even a shadow of it remains in our world, we are in great danger. Demons from the other world can sense it, smell it. That is why Victor summoned them. You will have met them, and might even had people call them lectors. For they were bred only for one purpose. To search for supernatural writings. Tell me about the Knight of the Blade. When the Doge began to abuse his power, which was almost immediately after he was elected, brave people rose to stand against him. After all, Venice was always a city of the free, and the people were unwilling to surrender their liberties without a fight. Things went well, and the resistance grew stronger, until the Doge found new allies. You know them. One by one, the resistance was picked off until there were only a tiny fraction remaining. One of them, a woman named Leora, tried to save what was left of the resistance by luring them into a trap. Victor had promised to spare them their lives if Leora would turn them in. But inevitably, he broke his promise. On the Night of the Blade, the resistance was slaughtered in a dark place below the city. And that was the bitter end of what was once a free and proud city. Farewell. Hello. You look puzzled. I would appreciate that. What do you... Farewell. Welcome. Welcome to my land. Finally, you can see it in the light that it deserves. I did not think I'd live to see it blossom again. I will use my fighting skills to protect it as long as I live, and never leave it again. Thank you for all that you've done. I have taken up my profession as a fighting trainer again. I want to learn new ways to fight. I can teach you the strongest of combat skills. It's good to see you again. Would you like to buy something? I'd like to trade.
Welcome. I've been expecting you. Can you take me back to Venice? I can, and I will. Let's get on board the legendary dark ship. You did not need my hand this time. I feared I would miss another conversation with you. You came so far, and yet you couldn't prevent Victor from getting his hands on the book. He didn't take it. The book was destroyed. I burnt it myself. But don't you see? That book couldn't be destroyed by the most ferocious fire on this earth. All you did was erase its physical form. The Black Grimoire has a soul, and that soul lives on in the Twilight World. So all Victor needs to do now is reach into the Twilight World. And seize the words from there. If he finds a way to order them and to perform the final ritual, his hunger and corruption will consume you all. I'll just have to beat him to it. You have done well so far. I will help you as much as I can. <laughs> 